Hi there, Toy here, and I am going to try to do a end of the year 2018 wrap up for the small gang of authors. <laughs> So this is a little bit impromptu, but I thought it's the end of the year, and um, I know um, Erica, our fillers leader, is putting together a post for us, so I thought I'd throw together this video. She gave me some awesome suggestions, so let's kind of get through it real quick. So the first thing I thought I'd do is run through and take a quick look at some of our current active members um, who are blogging regularly, participating in our group, and all that jazz. So we have Erica, of course, and myself, and Joe, and Ruth, Chris, Trisha, Rebecca, Lorraine, and PJ. Oh, and let's not forget Loki, our virtual mascot. So he's one of the new additions that, that occurred over the year of the 2018 year. So... <clears throat> I thought I would kind of do a quick run through of some of our most popular posts, but to make this video go faster, I just have some screenshots of. All right, so we started out the new year with a bang. We had a post where we all kind of contributed to it. And at the end of this video, I'll give you a sneak peek of the 2019 New Year's post. Uh, let's see, next we have um, Erica's top post for 2018 was mythology and folklore. This is one of her many um, entertaining and informative series that she presented to the group. It was really awesome. Um, my top post of the year was my um, Angel Lore Part 4. This is just one of the mini series that um, I contributed. I also did one about words that was pretty popular. Uh, this one is, I believe, Joe. Yeah, this Joe wrote this post. And um, this is actually a famous painting. I can't remember the name of the person. But this was his top post of the year. And then this one is Ruth's top post of the year. She did a whole series on uh, women authors and science fiction. She's continuing that series. It's great. Uh, Christina does some awesome posts about dragons. And um, this was her top post for 2018. And then um, Rebecca did this amazing series on Bobby Yaga folklore. And she does a lot of stuff with, I believe, dragons and stuff too. It's so great that we all bring something different to the table. Uh, Trisha is fairly new to the group. And she, her top post of the year was actually a post about writing. And she has lots of, you know, um, <laughs> experience in that area. And then this is Lorraine's top post. This was a really good post. She's done some traveling. And she, I believe she writes a little bit of romance, so that is reflected in her writing. And then um, this one is from PJ. This is a fairly recent post. She's been with the group a little while, but she's fairly new too. And this was a really good post right at the end of the year to kind of kick things off. And then, believe it or not, Loki also helps with some of our posts. So his top post of the year was where he introduced my dog Margie. So I thought... Since we've all kind of contributed a little bit to this um, this blog, um, I would show you some of the other things that we've done. And let's see here. Loki has lots of little friends that have visited the blog over the year. Let's see here. We've had snakes. We've had dogs. We've had cats. Needless to say, our author gang is a very um, animal-friendly blog so um we we invite people to come and share their animal stories with us all the time but it's not just animal stories that we like to share we um welcome guest posts all the time we have even been recognized as one of the top blogs for guest posting so this is just a little sample of some of the things we've done as far as guest posts we've had so many interesting people visit the blog and um, it's just it's just really cool to, you know, interact and learn from others in the industry and just, you know, pick up some good reading recommendations. <laughs> uh, but aside from that, we've also been busy by introducing a lot of contests this year. Let's see. Our, I think, yes, 
the flash fiction contest was it was i don't even have words for it it was an ordeal to try to put together but it was so worth it like there was a lot of organiz organizing that went to it and so here are some of our winners this first place winner great story second place winner and i was shocked beyond relief that i actually came in third but this um if you want to go back and read all of the stories are listed on the blog and it was kind of a micro flash fiction it was 500 words or less and for our first year doing it i thought we did a really good job and i hope we continue it we also did something earlier in the year that i thought was pretty cool we did a book cover contest this is a lot of fun because it was based on not only reader choice but um, the members of the blog, we got to kind of pick our favorites too. So we, we gave away a couple of awards for the book cover contest. But as you can see, there are no ugly book covers. Every every book cover has some kind of, you know, redeeming quality to it. Otherwise, someone wouldn't put it on their, on their cover. So you can just see, just scrolling through here, some of the amazing covers that were submitted and won awards. And I hope we do it again. It was a lot of fun. So let's see, let's, um, I think that was kind of the major stuff. What else do I have open here? Oh, this is our, on. this is our most recent post. Uh, let's see, I wanted to show you something. Oh yeah, we also released, um, a bunch of magazines this year, uh, virtual magazines. And so if you haven't had a chance to check any of those out, please do so. Um, the magazines are pretty cool. You get to get some extra information about the bloggers in the group. But aside from that, we celebrated lots of new releases this year. We did uh, a series on our favorite reviews. We did a whole series on character interviews. I mean, we had a lot going on in 2018. And I think it was a wonderfully successful year. Um, I did want to say real quick that we did have a few uh, members move on who, you know, they started with us at some point, but in the YouTube in the year 2018 they you know had to move on for different reasons i mean the life of a of a writer and a blogger is it's pretty busy <laughs> so um i just want to say to nicola to um alan grace marianne rich joanne if i forgot anyone i'm so sorry but it was wonderful having these talented authors and bloggers um be part of the author gang even if it was just for a little while and we wish them all the best if you come to our blog you can still see the amazing content and contributions that they left us so without further ado let me see if i can <laughs> pull up a little surprise for you give you a sneak peek of our 2019 um new year's day post at the end of this video so until next year i can't wait <laughs>